In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can use sim mechanics to model a cam follower mechanism. In a cam follower mechanism, a cam rotates, pushing against a follower. The follower acts against a rocker arm to move a valve up and down. The challenge is the connection between the follower and the cam. To model this properly, we need to use contact forces. We will see how we can add contact forces to a sim mechanics model of this mechanism. In the model, we'll see that we can use parameterized contact forces to model this connection. In the animation, we'll see that the follower and the cam move together as prescribed. I'll now switch over to the model so that you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. The colored subsystems represent the parts in our cam follower mechanism. When I update the diagram, a three-dimensional representation of the system is generated. You can see the cam, the follower, the valve, and the other parts. When I run the simulation, you will see how the system moves. You can see that the follower is exactly following the profile of the cam. As the follower goes over the tip of the cam, the contact point on the follower shifts slightly as it follows the profile. Going into the model, we can see how this contact was modeled. This document shows that the circular profile of the follower touches the cam on four different surfaces, two with a circular profile and two with a linear profile. We used two contact force laws to model that. Going into the subsystem itself, we can see the parameterized models of contact that were used. The parameters of the contact model are defined using MATLAB variables, making it easy to modify the contact. And we can use different force laws in order to characterize different types of contact. Because this contact model is parameterized using MATLAB variables, it makes it very easy for us to modify the system. This is the profile of the CAM we are currently working with. And if we look, we can see this is the travel of the valve. We can very quickly modify the profile of this CAM, update that in the model, rerun the simulation, and see the effect it has on the valve height. In this way, we can very quickly and easily adjust, test different types of systems using this model. Here is a summary of the approach we used to add contact forces to this model. First, we identified the surfaces or points that may touch. The circular profile of the follower encountered the profile of the cam on two circular profiles and two linear profiles. Next, we categorized the contacts according to the available contact forces. We used circle to circle and circle to line to model the connection between the cam and the follower. Next, we identified or created reference frames for these portions of the profile. Here you can see the different reference frames that we had to add to the cam and follower to identify these different portions of the profiles. We then connected these frames to the contact force models, assigned parameters, and simulated. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can model a cam follower mechanism with contact forces.